It's after work, y'all. And I'm ready to smoke another cigar. And I believe this is the tattoo why he... I believe this is the tattoo why he... Uh, petite... Nicaraguan Puro cigar. I think it's a Nicaraguan Puro. It'd be nice if they put the freaking... What it is on here, but... Whatever, I should know what I'm getting. I got this when I was first getting back into cigar smoking, and I had a whole list of stuff, and I just showed the guy, the tobacconist, the list, and he pulled this out. So maybe I'll have to go through that list to see, but I know this is a petite, and I looked it up and looked for this color band on his cigars, and it said that this one was a Nicaraguan Puro petite. So, uh, this is the one that's getting smoked right now. So, let's get into it. Alright, for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a V-cut. Uh, so, I'm going to try to pay attention to this this time and see how I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, so make sure it's straight. Push in. Perfect perfect cut this time good good job good job good job all right let's go ahead and take this spark it on now let's go mm. it's quick short smoke Oh, just burned myself, dang it. Okay, that should do just fine. I hope this bad boy has some flavor to it. Because that's what I'm chasing. Oh yeah, oh, that's it. Tastes like it got some flavor to it. That tastes like it got some flavor to it, y'all. I'm getting happy. Getting happy. All right, I'm gonna smoke it past this first little bit. Tattoo All right, y'all. This has got definitely some flavor to it. More, much more than the the cigar that I smoked earlier today. But it's still a very mild taste. But guess what? It's in my humidor, and I'm gonna smoke it. Yep. I'm happy. All right, I'm going to keep on smoking. Keep on talking. I'm liking this cigar. It's almost done because it was a petite. But yeah, it definitely got some sweet notes to it. From what I read, this is a Habano wrapper. So, 
It really tastes good. I like it. I really like it. But yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice. I can't wait to get a hold of that uh, that Wolfman one, though. I really want to try that. But Cigar Brother, <laughs> he did a review on it. And <laughs> the looks on his face when he smoked that Wolfman was funny. But I still want to try because I am a werewolf fan. So anything that's got to do with werewolves, I'm in. So I'm going to still try it. I'm going to still try the wolf man whenever I can go get it. But yeah, this cigar is pretty good. I like it. I lost the doggone ash plugging in my phone out here. But it's all good. Still a great, awesome cigar. I'm chasing that short story flavor, y'all. That Hemingway flavor. And I still haven't had a Padron, so we'll see how that goes, too. I'm pretty sure I'll be like everybody else with those flavor notes, but we'll see when I get to it. Because I've got one in the humidor. Sitting for a minute. Anyway, I'm about to put this down for a minute because i got to go back to work now. Call me back right after I got off. But, uh... All right, y'all. Smoke that tattoo while hey, all the way down to the nub. To the nub. I'm gonna call this quits. It was okay. It's got light, light sweetness, some nuttiness. Got that very ripe tobacco taste. From the ritual hell. It was okay. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But I gotta get the wolf man. I gotta try it. I gotta try the wolf man. So yeah, that's it for this. I'm done. Have a good night. My fellow brothers and sisters, smokers of tobacco, of cigars. Good night.